Hello. Welcome to the next installment in our Career Development Online Tutorial Series. Today I would like to demonstrate FOCUS, which is a program our college uses to help students research careers and majors. Here is our website, www.brower.edu, and from our website, all a student has to do is scroll down and click Career right here. Let's click on it now. Here is our Career Center page. From here we click on Career Information. Let's click on it. And here are many programs Broward College uses. So we click on Focus. If you are a first-time user, you would create a free username and password by clicking here in red. All you would do is fill in the information here, create your username and password, but very importantly, for administration reasons, we need to know that you are using Focus as a Broward College student. So all Broward College students have to put in the access code for Broward College, which is WOLF. W-O-L-F. And then fill out everything here, select which campus you are on, and click Continue. And then you will be ready to use Focus. And remember, like any other website, write down your username and password in a special place so you will have access to it from wherever you are, from whatever computer you're at. So for now, I'd like to uh, start with one of the usernames I use already. I'm putting it in now. continue. So FOCUS has four different steps in the portfolio process. It's a database, so once you complete all of these steps, it saves all of your information for you and has your own career portfolio. So this is my portfolio in the, uh, final, in the fourth step here. So all of the information I put in, it's saved for me. The reason why career readiness is the first step is that these things like creating a goal, academic strengths, etc., are things to think of traditionally to think about first. And for example, if we click on career goals here, um, I put in my goal. Being able to summarize your goal, career goal, is very important. And even though I put in one sentence here, um, it's very there takes a lot of thought into um, devising your goal and putting it into uh, words. Okay, let's go back and uh, academic strengths. Okay, so I put those in. Now be honest when you answer these questions. So it's it's an honest portrayal of your skills. Okay, we're going to go back. Some of these assessments might take 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes to work through. And as you can see, um, you have interest assessment, personality assessment, skills assessment, values assessment, leisure interest assessment. These are all important indicators of what career a student may choose. So for example, let's see what's what sort of work interests that I put in um, I'm clicking here to go directly to my pro profile where it's saved
lot of students might be high, very strong in, in certain two or three, and very low in others. Others, other students might have more of a balance where they're not so, there's not such of a contrast. But see what happens for you. And then it, it defines what each aspect is. Okay. And let's look at one more for now. Value, uh, skills obviously is important in deciding on your career, what skills that you're, what skills you have over your lifetime that you've developed. But values is very important, and a lot of the assessment programs will use this. Um, so, for example, some of the values that I've put in right here, um, creativity, helping others, and risk-taking. Those are values that are very strong for me, and um, it, it shows all of the occupations that are typical for those values and as you can see, when you're looking up occupations, the red sun always indicates a occupation that has a bright outlook. There's green jobs, bright outlook. So those are two important aspects of, of occupations that you students want to look at. Review, once you, it, let's say you find an occupation like our teacher, if you click here to save it, it goes on your portfolio, and I'll show you that in a minute. Now, once you've done a self-assessment and you've decided on your goals or you've articulated your goals, the next step is exploring possibilities. This is where you're ready to search by occupation, industry. And then let me give a quick de demonstration. So we click on search occupation, okay, and there's an alphabetical listing. And like I showed you before, it's a database, so we saw some of the occupations that link to my values, but here they all are in alphabetical order, so you can find them, any occupation you're looking for. So let's say uh, I, now academic advisor, which is w the field I'm in, I already saved it, so it has the saved picture here. But let's say I put in, um, let me click on G, just to demonstrate. Let's say uh, hearing officer, just for example, okay, or heating air. This is a green job and a bright outlook. So let me click heating and air conditioning technician, okay. So once you click on it, once you click on it, you see uh, you could read the description of the job, okay. And these things on the left are very important because it tells you the earnings, the outlook. And again, the values and skills, if you did those assessments to see if they match up to your value and skills, same thing with interest profile. But very important, what our students need to know quickly is if they have a career goal, what majors or uh, educational level is necessary. So let's click on areas of study. Okay, And it tells you the areas of study that, that students would pursue for that. And when it talks about degree level, sometimes it, the degree level might say two-year degree, bachelor's degree, master's or higher. Okay, uh, But in this case, um, this is a vocational occupation, which means it's very specified training. So t a student can typically go to a technical school and get licensed. So that's why it says vocation or, or technical certificate. So let's go back, and this is my this is my portfolio. So I can review what I've done already. Okay, these are the occupations I've clicked on. Okay, um, review and print your portfolio if if you want to um, print it out uh, for an assignment or for any other reason. You can print it out. Okay, and let's say I check off everything here for my portfolio, and I click Build My Portfolio. All right, so here's what it looks like, all the information it has on me, my strengths and weaknesses, academic, academically speaking, 
my personal development needs, my interest profile, etc., etc. Okay. And what's also great is in the last tool here, um, it has a lot of links on here. So, for example, if I clicked on here, narrow national job boards, these are all very good sites, reputable sites that you can go to to further research. So, tune in for our next career resource tutorial.